Hey everybody, it's Pastor John with your midweek moment for this week. And what I'd like to do this week is I'd like to introduce our book group's current book. Uh, it's a book called The Upswing, How America Came Together a Century Ago and How We Can Do It Again. Uh, the primary author is Robert Putnam. Uh, an additional author is Shailen Romney Grant. Now, Robert Putnam is uh, for 30, 40 years now. He's been one of America's foremost social scientists. I suppose a sociologist is what he would call himself. He teaches at the Kennedy School of Government at Harvard, and he's written a pioneering series of books going back into the late 1980s that explore a concept that he calls social capital. Putnam didn't invent the term, but he sort of popularized it in what was probably his first really famous book, a book called Bowling Alone. Um, what social capital is, is it's the additional benefits that you get when people get together to do something. Um, and let me explain to you what I mean. Let me take an example that is near and dear to all of our hearts. Let's talk about coming to church. Yeah, you, know, you can come to church for all sorts of reasons, right? You can come to church to worship. You can come to church to hear the sermon. You can come to church to sing the hymns. There, there are all sorts of reasons. And those three reasons, you know, worshiping and the sermon and hymns, those are, those are all really good reasons to come to church. But we all know that when we come to church, there's more that happens than just that, right? You get to see your friends. Maybe you get to meet new people. You know, maybe you get to know someone better that you, you just knew a little bit before. Uh, maybe you and a friend decide to go out to lunch later on in the week, whatever it is. And, and all of those other things that you do, all of those other things that you do that develop your relationships with other people, in addition to simply coming to church to worship, all of those things are social capital. Um, and the idea is that a healthy, thriving society is a society that builds social capital. But something Putnam has noticed since that book, Bowling Alone, which came out in the early 90s, is that American social capital has been in steep decline. And the reason it's been in decline is because all of sort of those, those big groups where people used to get together aren't as strong as they used to be. Now, we, we know that's the case with churches, but it's also the case with uh, labor unions, with sports leagues, uh, with uh, service groups like the Lions or the Kiwanis. None of those groups are, are uh, as strong or attract as many members as they used to do. And, and that's a problem, Putnam says, because it, it's, it's when people get together in those groups that they can start building the relations that lead to social capital. Um, and that's, that's sort of an idea that Putnam discusses in this book, The Upswing. Um, this takes sort of a broad look at the past hundred years or so of American history. Uh, Putnam's thesis is that there was a time in America's history that was just as divided and as divisive as the days we live in now. And he says that was during the Gilded Age, the 1870s and the 1880s. But then what he says happened is that, that during, oh, nearly the century after that, there was a process of sort of building social capital in America. There were the growth of all sorts of organizations that sort of brought people together to do things. Churches, the YMCA, the YWCA, labor unions, all, all of those sorts of things. And he says that process peaked in the 1960s. And that since then, there's been sort of this, this continual decline to the mess that we're in today. Uh, but Putnam says, the good news of the book is that, that what we have done to ourselves are things that we can fix. And he says, just as it was possible for us to do those things that sort of pulled the country together in the early 20th century, there's no reason we can't do those same things in the early 21st century. Um, so that's sort of a quick overview of the book. I, I'm about a quarter of the way through it, and, and I have found it very, very interesting reading. Um, if you would like to join us uh, for our discussion of this book, you've actually got plenty of time to do so because the book group is not meeting in April because the book group meeting would have come up just a couple of days after Easter. Instead, what we're going to do is have our next meeting on Wednesday, May 18th. That's the third Wednesday in the month of May, which if you'd like to join us for our reading and discussion of the upswing should give you plenty of time. Oh, hmm, plenty of time, excuse me, to read the book. So if you'd like to join our book group this time around, that's the day when you can do it, uh, May 18th at 3 p.m. If you'd like to join us, all you need to do is send me an email and uh, tell me you'd like to join us and I'll make sure 
you get the Zoom link. I guess that's all it is for this week. So thanks a lot.